uh, grinding it out here for the last couple of weeks uh, since Western Michigan. And the guys have done a good job. They worked hard. You know, we always believe a little bit of team bonding and building. Shot 260. Yeah. <laughs> High score, Bowie 168. Low score, Adams 58. Yeah. Oh. 58. Growing up in Elk River, Minnesota, Matt Kierstead reflects on the fun times he spent on the ice. You know, I played a lot of outdoor hockey when I was younger, either going to the Hanky Pit, which is just a public outdoor rink there, or just to, you know, my buddy's house where we'd skate on the pond in his backyard. Well, it's kind of funny because both of my parents, uh, neither of them played hockey, they're basketball, and then my dad played football, my mom ran track. So we didn't have any hockey ties there, but my dad uh, played softball with Mark Parrish when we were really young, and Mark Parrish was able to convince my parents to let my older brother play hockey, and then I kind of, you know, me and my younger brother both followed after him, so I guess that's kind of how I got into hockey. The siblings did not agree on everything, especially team allegiances. When I was younger, my, uh, my family and both my brothers were Gophers fans, and I always kind of liked the Sioux just because I think when you know the Gophers would play North Dakota, I like to just kind of argue with my brothers a little bit, so I'd pick the other team. And um, I don't know, it's kind of stuck with me ever since then. And uh, watching guys like like Ben Blood play, he's one of my favorite players when I was younger, and I think just that and you know the. The Ralph, obviously, is just a huge attraction to come here. His calming presence makes his teammates more comfortable from the jump. For me, coming in last year, I think he was a you know a guy I definitely looked up to, and um, a guy that really made me feel comfortable in the locker room, and uh, super easy to talk to, really good guy, uh, pretty funny sense of humor too. So uh, he's re just really good off the ice with the guys, and I think uh, you know that leads on the ice. When it comes to playing at UND, Matt has stepped into a leadership role, both on defense and on the power play. I think the focus going into this year was just kind of, you know, make the just make the right plays, not try to do too much, and kind of focus on just the, the first pass and moving pucks north and kind of following up the play and adding offense when I can. You know, playing with Matt, it's, it's super easy. He's always got a Really good gap, um, super smooth skater, um, and then obviously his skill kind of speaks for itself. He uh, runs the power play like um, you know, like no other, and it's pretty impressive to watch. So uh, definitely super lucky I got to play with him last week. It's been great to uh, you know have Gooch and Pinto on the two flanks on the power play because those guys can, you know, they're both on their offsides and they both can make plays and they can both shoot the puck. So you know, and I think uh, Pinto is, is really good at that that cross scene one time where he scored on it on Saturday against Miami. But I think that's key to be able to, you know, be able to make those plays this year and uh, like have the confidence to, you know, shoot the puck when you think you have a chance instead of passing it up and trying not to make a mistake. He can shoot the puck, I think. Uh, you know, one thing that I've noticed is just kind of more his passing ability. I think he's really good at um, just kind of being deceptive with the puck and, um, you know, looking guys off and, and feeding other guys. So. Uh, really fun to watch and you know something that personally I try to pick up on. As the season rolls along, the junior blue liner looks to simplify the game for himself and his teammates. Yeah, making the easy plays, trying to simplify the game. I think, you know, the faster you can, you know, move the puck and use the other players on the ice and 
you know, just go north and get it out of the D zone, I think the better you usually are. Uh, you know, you don't want to spend more time than you have to down in your D zone. So I think just making the easy play, whether it just be, you know, a short chip to a guy or going off the glass and just getting it out of the zone. Coach Barry is just saying it today that uh, just any time that you can get a shot on that, it's not a, not a bad play. You know, make the goal and make a save. And I think, you know, I think that's a great point. And I think, yeah, just providing offense when I can and when I see, you know, an opportunity to, you know, step in and take a shot, um, you know, you take it or you can make a play to someone else for a shot. I think everything is, and I think our offense is coming a lot better this year than it has the past two years anyways. And I think that's a lot to, you know, just trying to simplify and get shots on net and uh, play more loosely and try to make plays too.